Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make brown gravy. I'm starting out with two tablespoons of butter to make the roux. Let the butter melt down, being careful not to burn. And I wanna give a quick shout out to Miss Tasha Love for this video request. Hey girl, hey. So next add two tablespoons of flour. This is equal parts flour to butter. You can use oil as well. Just make sure that it's equal parts. And this will be our thickening agent for the gravy. The goal is to cook the flour until it turns brown and the flour taste is gone. So I cook this for about four minutes, stirring constantly to remove all lumps from the flour and to prevent burning. Also decrease your heat. Right now my heat was on a medium low setting. Next I'm going to season the roux with garlic powder, onion powder and black pepper. I'm using the eyeball method being careful not to over season. I recommend that if you try this be light with the seasonings and taste as you go because you can build the flavor of your gravy. All right, so keep in mind my heat is still turned down, which is very important because if you accidentally burn your roux at this point, there's no turning back and you'll have a burnt taste in your gravy. So you definitely don't wanna do that. Also for flavor, you can use chopped onions instead of onion powder. To do that, you would just need to add the chopped onions to your butter and flour while making the roux. Just before adding the broth, I decrease the heat a little. I'm using one cup of beef broth and adding it in slowly, little by little. You can use chicken broth as well, or you can use both. So I'm stirring this pretty rapidly here. And once the gravy thickens, then I'm gonna add more broth. Now this is optional. I'm using one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce to add some more flavor to the gravy. I recommend that if you have some on hand, go ahead and throw some in there. These next three herbs are also optional, but recommended. Use according to taste, thyme, rosemary, and dried basil. So from here, the gravy is done. Taste it and add more pepper if needed and a pinch or two of salt and build according to your preference. You can turn your stove down to allow this to simmer as you add in more spices. As the gravy sits, it will thicken and then you can go back in and add more broth or water to thin it out. So I titled this video part one and I am gonna revisit this at another date. I know that this gravy can taste much better with the actual fat and drippings of meat versus using canned beef broth or canned chicken broth. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you make this brown gravy, let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you guys in my next video.